All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Rakaq Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity, the ones that are doing the work of the hopeful elect, okay, which are the elect, okay. Um, I'm going to go in this title of this video of uh, Walking in the light and not in darkness okay and um i'm gonna start off with the scripture this is uh john 3 and 19 it says and this is the condemnation right let me get this word condemnation okay it says a separating sundering separation a trial contest selection Judgment, right? Opinion or decision given given concerning anything, okay? When you go into the the uh, things uh, as far as you know how we're supposed to use proper judgment, okay? When it comes down to the scriptures, okay, is you supposed to have the mentality, whatever the Bible says, okay. Whatever the scriptures say, then that is what the Lord wants for us to do. Okay, um, I'm gonna get these two scriptures before I before I continue on. This is um, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Okay, so everything that was written from Throughout the whole Bible, okay, because this scripture right here, okay, it applies for today, okay, but a lot of Christians, you know, they don't, um, they don't, uh, believe in the Old Testament or they believe that the Old Testament is done away with. So this scripture says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime, okay, were written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Okay. So everything. Okay. When Paul read, wrote this. He was talking about from Genesis to Malachi. Okay. Now. Uh, this scripture is, in, in today's world. Is uh, applied to the whole entire Bible. From Genesis on to Revelation. Okay. Even to the Apocrypha. Okay. It says that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Okay. And I'm going to get this scripture. Uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 16. Okay. It says all scripture is given by inspiration of, I'm going to just say God, which is his name is Yahweh. Okay. Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. It says all scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Okay. So the scripture says, okay, this is the condemnation, right? This is the, 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 uh, the, the ju judgment. Okay. Concerning anything that's in this world, it says, especially concerning justice and injustice, right or wrong, sentence of condemnation, damnatory judgment, condemnation, and punishment. Okay? So, um, then it says, justice, uh, divine law. Okay? Which a lot of people don't like going into, you know, definitions and stuff like that. Okay? Let me get the etymology for uh, divine, okay? It says uh, from uh, 13, uh, 13th uh, century, basically, 1300s. It says uh, from Old French, Devon. It says, of a God, a God, God, deity, okay? And what that scripture say, okay? 
of a divine law, okay? Uh, the definition, it says, of a divine law, of the God-given law, okay? So, continuing on, it says that light, this this is the, the, the judgment, okay? That light is coming to the world. And men loved darkness rather than light because their e their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hates the light. Okay? And y'all hate, you know, the Israelites for, for, for telling it, you know, how it is. Okay? But, you know, the angle that I want to take this in, okay, is on a personal level, you know, for, for you know, whoever, you know, may read or, 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 uh, or listen to this, you know, just for us to, 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 to apply it onto ourselves, you know, because the title of this lesson is walking in the light and not in darkness, okay? So walking in this truth, we understand, okay, that we're trying to please Yahweh Hashem Yahweh at the end of the day, okay? That's all that, that's the only, you know, what the scripture say. What does definition say? Opinion. That's the only opinion that matters, man. Okay? Whether, whether you know, we're men of the Lord or not, that's the only thing that matters. Okay? And and doing what the, the Bible says. Okay? It says, For everyone that doeth evil hates the light. Neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Okay? That means changing changing your ways, man, of how you was before. Okay? You was you was a part of this world, okay, and you came up out of it. You 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 uh you know you was in the darkness, okay? And when you come into this light, the scriptures say, you know, don't don't do this, don't do that. Hey what? You don't do it. Okay? Now you have uh this guy, um, you know, G Man, you know, the chocolate covered uh reverse Edomite, you know, who's uh basically saying, uh, you know, it's okay to eat shrimp and stuff like that, you know. And what did the Bible say, man? You know, you're not supposed to you know, that's an abomination, okay, onto us. You know, that's a disgusting thing, you know, to eat uh uh shrimp and stuff, you know. Because we know what is what it was for, and first off, the Bible says it. Okay? It says, but he that do doeth truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in Yahweh you know. You know? So that's the that's the thing, man. A man of the Lord, you're gonna be you know, if you wanna be in this truth, you wanna pick up this Bible and, you know, uh have hope, you know, in the salvation and do do the works, do the deeds, okay? <clears throat> You gonna you gonna listen to what the scriptures say, man. Okay, this is uh, Proverbs thirty and six. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. And you, I don't know what what be going on with some people, man. But you know, some people just um, they just don't got it, man. You know, to 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 you know, if the Bible says. You know, don't add on to the words. You know, they, they want to add on to the words, you know, for their own uh, benefit, man. You know? And it's like, um, why? You know? You got that much pride or, you know, you just that wicked? You know, which is all spiritual, you know? But you got a lot of people out here that are just straight up liars, you know? That, that actually are, are, are deceiving and lying to themselves. You know, you know, believing, believing that what they actually believe in is the truth. You know, when, when you go going through, when you in this truth, you know, walking in this light, you got to examine yourself, man, whether, whether or not you actually doing what the, the Bible says, man, you know, this is uh, Ephesians 5 and 26, that he may sanctify, okay, set apart and, and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Okay, 
So, so the, 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 the baptism, okay, it's a spiritual baptism, man, okay? You got these people in these churches who are walking in the darkness, okay? You go get your, um, you know, baptism, and then as soon as the baptism is done, you, you back to being a nigga. You know, you back to being wicked. When you when you come into this truth, you find out, hey, the Bible says not to do this and not to do that. You know, you you change that, man. You wash that that up, up, up out of your system. Okay, the Bible says, you know, to have faith. Okay, that's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have, man. I'm, you know, to pray. I'm gonna pray. Okay, to worship and do as the Lord says, man. To have faith, uh, fear. If you don't, then guess what? You know, the Lord going to destroy you. That's one thing that you got to understand. You know? Like, for, for, for myself, for example, before I came into the truth, you know, I had uh, came across that um, it was um, unhealthy or, or not right to eat uh, pork. You know, and I read that in the Bible that we wasn't supposed to eat pork. So... I had uh, stopped eating pork, you know, like 10 years before I, you know, came into the truth. And um, a lot of people kept on coming at me like, yo, like, you know, every time I would, um, you know, go to, to, you know, family events and stuff like that, would be telling them, yeah, I don't eat pork and so on and so forth. You know, this was before I came into the truth. And they would just be like, oh, you Muslim or, you know, you crazy, man. Why you don't want no bacon, you know? So I was already catching the hell, you know, based off the fact that I didn't want to eat pork before I came into the truth, you know, and I didn't eat pork because I knew that the Bible says not to do it, but I didn't know about, you know, that we was Israelites and so on and so forth. But the, the, the thing is like the mentality, that's why it's, that's why it's good, you know, to, 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 to be in it when you come into this light. You know what I'm saying? You got to expect these type of things, man, because people are going to be trying to, to come at you, you know, that are, that are in the darkness, you know, because they hate the, they hate the light, man. Was, was, you know, they hate the, the fact that the Bible is the truth, man. Okay? You got a lot of people that, that claim to be Christians, man, that are just straight or, or open up the Bible that are just in straight up darkness, you know? And they'll come at you and, you know, uh, in a in an attacking matter, you know, because hey, you you teaching hey not to eat pork that that goes against what I want, you know. So we have to understand that people out here are in darkness, man, and they don't want to, you know, come into this uh, knowledge, man. Okay, but for us, we know that we used to be those people, man. Okay, Isaiah 40, 64 and six, but we are all as an unclean thing. And all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do fade away. I mean, fade as a leaf. And our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us. You know, we all, you know, we all went off. Okay? We all, you know, did the, 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 the wrong thing, man. Okay? Before we um try to get on somebody else about, the you know, the things that they're not doing, we should, we should examine ourselves, you know, and, and, and clean, okay, the, these uh, filthy ways up off of us, okay, even though it's, it's damn near impossible, okay, to, 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 to fully, fully cleanse yourself in, in, in this uh, society, okay, through the flesh, okay, but through the spirit, you have you have certain people out here that are clean in the spirit, okay? That um, you know the Lord uh, has grace on, man. Okay. I, I I see that you 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 uh walking in my light. You 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 know that it's wrong, okay? To uh you know uh eat certain foods or to do certain things as far as the law go, okay? You know that is wrong, and guess what? You're doing, you, you, you're not, you're not, you're keeping my laws, statutes, and commandments, as the Lord says, okay? 
And because you, you keeping my law, statutes, and commandments, and you're teaching them, right? That's why this scripture comes into play. Okay, Matthew 5 and uh, 19. Whosoever there so, therefore shall so break one of the least commandments and teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So because you're doing and teaching the, the commandments, okay? Hey, you I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a, you're going to be great in the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? And this is this is Matthew 5, okay? Matthew is the first book of the New Testament, man. Okay? This if you just read the Bible all the way, you know, from front to back, you would not understand this, man. Okay? So the thing is that when 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 the Lord came on the scene and he said this, and Matthew, he was talking about the things that was written in these, you know, the the the, the um the scriptures, man, in the Old Testament, man. Okay? So um continuing on, you know, we we all you know, are are unclean, okay? And uh, you know, the the we ought to understand that if we go off all the time, man. You know, but we we hoping that a hey, by by doing these things, by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, by keeping the faith, okay, the Lord, the Lord, you y'all by some outside God, you wrote this, you know, and and I'm trusting in your word. You know, I'm setting myself apart from, you know, the, the, the people that I've been around my whole entire life. I'm working towards pleasing you. You know, that's that's the mindset that we should have, man. And and, and dwelling with brothers that are on the, 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 uh, the same mind frame as us, you know, that have that mind frame. OK, this is Matt, Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren. By the mercies of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, you know. So, in the world, you may have, you may have been somebody that you know cut your beard off. You may have been getting shape ups. Okay, the Bible says not to you know cut your beard off. Okay, not to get shape ups. You making your body a living sacrifice. You know, hey, I'm not going to do that. Why? Because the Bible says so. Okay. Hey, I'm not going to um go out here and do certain things, you know, because the Bible says so. I'm not going to eat food, you know, that I may, be, may have been thinking was good, you know, because I'm making my body a living sacrifice. I'm changing my ways. Okay. It says holy, set apart, acceptable. Unto Yah by Shmiyasa, which is your reasonable service. Okay? That's a reasonable thing, man. It says, and be not conformed to this world. Why? Because the world just says for you to be, you can do whatever you want to. Go into the to a store, you know, a restaurant. Hey, how you like your steak? You know, you you you're able to get your steak raw, you know, they they able to just bring it straight out the freezer to you. But what? The scripture says, "No, eat no manner of blood." You know, so just because they say, you know, what, how you like your steak, that don't mean that you gotta eat your steak like that. You know, just because people are celebrating uh, things, or, or everybody in this world, which everybody in this world, you gotta look at them like they're in darkness, man. Except for the ones that are teaching this word. Okay, so so everybody in this world is in darkness. And we don't need to follow them. Okay, it says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to renew your mind to, you know, put off that, that old man, that way of thinking that you have been used to before. Okay, it says that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bashem Yahshah. Okay, and let's get this word will. Okay. Get the Greek. Strong's G twenty three oh seven. Thelema. Thelema. It says, "What one wishes or has determined shall be done." 
the Lord determined that we should, you know, uh, put him first. Okay? Have him in our mindset, you know, on our spirit. Okay? Change our ways, man. Get up out of that darkness. Okay? It says, of the purpose of, I'm going to say God, to bless mankind through which the world ignorantly calls Christ, Yahweh Shah. It says, of what the Most High Yahweh wishes to be done by us, commands, precepts, the will, choice, inclination, desire, and pleasure. Okay? Because the Heavenly Father, okay, He's a Father, man, and He, he delights in His children doing what, what He told them to do. Okay? And that's, that's important, man. The Lord, the, he wants his children to do, you know, walk in his light. Okay? So he can be proud of, of, of you as his child. Okay? And he can set you up on high, man. Okay? He can bless you like a father blesses his son, man. Okay? This is Romans 3 and 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yeah, we established the law. Okay? So... The, 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 the laws that was in the Bible, you know, we can't just say, oh, we got faith, you know. So so I, the, the laws aren't important. No, we're supposed to establish the law, okay. The laws, the laws, the truth is the Bible says, okay. Um, This is uh 1 John 10 and, I mean, 1 and 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth, okay, so if you say that you're supposed to be, you know, a man of the Lord, or whatever the case may be, you know, and you still, you know, walking in darkness, you know, you ain't, you're not doing what the scriptures say, you're not doing the truth, but if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we, we have fellowship with one another, Okay, the, the, the brothers, man, because, you know, another brother, okay, walking in the light, he's not going to be mad because you're getting on him, you know, about the 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 the, the, uh, the deeds that he's doing, man. He's not going to get mad about, you know, re being reproved. It says, and the blood of Yahweh Shah, his son, cleanses us from all sin. And what is sin? The transgression of the law. Okay, if we say that we have no sin... We deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Okay, so so one way or another, we're going we're going to go go off, you know, not willingly. But the fact is that this the, these bodies that we're in, you know, is they're corruptible, man. Okay, but the fact is, if you see something in the Bible and you're able to 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 to, to do it, okay, then you're supposed to do it. Now, if you see the Bible says, you know, not to, to, to go, um, what's the word, uh, kill a homosexual and stuff, or stone a homosexual, you know, you don't do that. Because this is not our land, you know, we're, we're, we're not able to do do that, you know. But, but the fact is, do that mean you go out here and go be a homosexual? No. Why? Because the Lord ain't, ain't with that homosexual bullshit, man. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Why? Where's the cleansing? Okay, you, 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 if you was a homosexual, you're not a homosexual no more because that's unrighteous. Okay? If you was an adulterer, you're not an adulterer no more, which is sleeping with another man's woman. Why? Because that's not right. Okay? It says, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Okay, so, you know, that's one thing with us, man, walking in this light. We know that we, we, we used to be in the darkness, man. You know? We, 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 we was, we, we was uh, in it, man. You know? Probably, probably even more so than, than, the, than the people who are in the darkness right now. You know? But what? We changed our ways, okay, in order to hope 
in, in, in order to, 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 to try to, you know, please the Heavenly Father, man, and His Son, man. Okay? This is uh, Hebrews 10 and uh, 19, and I'm going to go down to 26, and I'm going to end the lesson. It says, Heaven therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiness, holiest by the blood of Yahweh Shah. Okay, because when you come into this truth, you're supposed to be bold. Like, man, I can do this, man. You know, it ain't easy. that ain't hard. You know, I'm going to change my ways and I'm going to do what the Lord said, man. Because why we ought, we actually believe in this, man. Okay, it says by a new and living way. Okay, this is a new way of living that you're supposed to, you're supposed to have, man. It says, which he have consecrated for us through the veil that is to say his flesh. And having a high priest over the house of, of the Most High Yahweh, okay? Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Okay? Because we used to walk in that darkness, man. We used to have them, them evil minds, man. It says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promise. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Okay, so walking in his light, we provoke. Okay, what's this word, provoke? An exciting, incitement, irritation, contention. Okay, we're trying to incite a, a flame. Okay, on, on to other brothers to, 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 to be, you know, uh, to love this work. Okay, to, to love your help by Shemir outside and do as he say. Okay, and to, to, do, to do videos and teach other brothers to, uh, you know, to, to, to bring in the, the hope for elect, man. Okay, so that they can change their, you know, ways and, you know, we can rejoice in that. You know, because another man done, you know... He, he had a, a, a evil conscience. You know, he's not, you know, he's, he's a man of the Lord now. Okay? To, to promote, provoke and love and to, to good works, you know? To, to, to bring that, that person in, okay? To, to, you know, separate yourself from the darkness, man. Okay? And come into the light. And stay in the light. Okay? Uh, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so the much more as you see the day approaching. Okay, because, hey, Yahweh Sa, Yahweh Sa, every day that goes by, there's another day closer to Yahweh Sa coming. Okay? And, and as that day goes by, every day goes by, we supposed to be wanting to get up with brothers, man. Okay? Doing videos and, you know, provoking one another, as the, the scriptures say, inciting one another to love and the good works. Charity covers a multitude of sins, man. Okay? It says, for if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. Okay? Now you know this this truth. To, to keep the law, statutes, commandments, the faith. And you and you just sin willfully? You, you don't do any... And, you just disregarding what the Bible says. There remains no more sacrifice for your sins. So you basically putting Yahweh Shah, the one in the world ignorantly calls Christ. His death means nothing to you. Okay? He has to come down and die again, you know, for you, and that's not gonna happen, man. Okay? So the, the time right now is for, for people, okay, to get right with the Lord because that, that door is closing, okay? And pretty soon it ain't going to be no, no none of these videos that we're putting up right now. It ain't going to be none of that, man. Ain't, you ain't going to see us out here on the, the, the highway and hedges, you know, if you if you don't do what you're supposed to, you know. But with that, man... Um, uh, hopefully this was edifying. I want to say shalom till next time.